Let me show you the equipment we're going to use in this experiment. First of all, this is the induction coil. It's just some thick wire that's been wound and wound and wound around a form, kind of like the slinky that we used. It's, uh, it's marked, I don't know if you can see that, 4.5 millihenries. So that's the nominal value for that. The resistance is provided by this ceramic 5 watt resistor. It's marked 22 ohms. The capacitor is this metal case capacitor. You've seen these in the capacitance lab. We had, remember, the tall metal case capacitor and the short one. This is one of the short ones. It's marked 1 microfarad. Now, what it actually is, you may or may not know. Each one of the capacitors in that lab had a mark on the back. So if this is the one you used, you'll know what it was. And if we were doing this experiment in class, I would have had each of you go and get the capacitor that you've used in the capacitor's lab. Since we can't do that, I'm going to suggest that you instead go to your notebooks and use the value that you measured for that capacitor, as long as it's close to one microfarad, and use that as, as the, the value for the capacitance. Now, we'll connect this in series with a source of oscillating signal that comes from this function generator. Um, I'll show you how to operate it in a little bit. I've got two one foot long wires to connect that. They're red and black, but it doesn't really matter because we're using AC. We just have red and black usually for positive and negative, but for AC it doesn't matter. To get the signal out of the function generator, we need an adapter. The connector here is for what's called coaxial connector or, or BNC. It's, it's like a cable TV connector. And so we need this little adapter that connects to the coax on one end and presents us with banana plugs, where we can plug banana plugs in. So we'll put that there. OK, so that's the primary circuit. And then to monitor the signal coming out of the function generator, we'll use this oscilloscope. It's a Hewlett Packard 54600B. It's 100 megahertz, which is quite fast. And basically, it's a machine for drawing a graph of voltage that comes in as a function of time over and over and over again. I'll show you that a little bit. It also takes, because we're talking, dealing with high frequencies, uh, or could be, it takes a, a coaxial connector here. So we'll use another adapter to connect the coaxial signal out. We'll measure the voltage across the inductor with one of these digital voltmeters. It's got two two foot long wires on here uh, to do that. And then we'll measure the voltage across the capacitor with the other digital voltmeter. Again, it's got two two foot long wires. And then I've got a third pair of two foot long wires to go from the um, oscilloscope over to the, the function generator. I've got six. Um, alligator clips to use to connect things and then to go along with that I've got two of these little jumpers with alligator clips on the ends of them that we'll use to connect the circuit components. So that's the inventory of all the equipment that we're going to use to do this experiment.